Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. It's another beautiful day in paradise. Well, that's just what I like to say. Um, welcome back to those who watched the video yesterday. Welcome back to those who are just tuning in today. This is Grow Techniques with Fun Bean. I am your host. Wait, hold up. If I had sound effects, it probably would have sounded a lot better. But let's just put the sound effects in my head real quick. And we're going to do a little drum roll in my head. Bam! I'm Fun Bean. What's happening? Alright, today I'm going to talk about a little bit on insects that you can find in your soil. Now, yesterday I touched up on, you know, talking about your roots and talking about overwatering and picking on your, on your roots. Today I'm going to talk about the insects that you can also find on your roots and what they do, how they act, and how your plant will react with them on them. So today's topic is root aphids. Now, root aphids are a fairly small aphid. Um, they're in the same family as... Ooh, sorry, hold on. They're in the same family as the leaf aphids. Like, normally everybody sees the roof aphid, which are yellow, or you can find them in red, sometimes black. Um, those are the ones that you find on your leaves, on top of, on top of your leaves. Very, very similar to um, those ones, but the roof aphids are slightly smaller than the uh, leaf aphid. The roof aphid is um, it's a little pear shape. They come in various different colors from pink, brown, and white. Um, sometimes they can be mistaken because sometimes they will come up on the stem. Now, those ones are called crawlers. So I'm getting to that a little bit later, but let me talk about you. Um, sometimes they can also be mistaken as a mealy bulb also known as a soft scale that's another topic i'll probably do that tomorrow ah that's the idea for tomorrow boom uh so yes they're similar to in look the white ones similar to look as a soft scale some people think that they're the same but they're not the same they also come brown and pink as i said uh, they normally stay on top of the soil, underneath the so soil, but then you have the crawlers. The crawlers will come up onto the stem and they will suck out all the energy and everything from the plant. Now, the ones that are underneath the soil, they normally stay onto your roots. You'll find them directly onto the roots. Now, what they do is they suck out all the energy from your roots. It's basically like you go for a run, coming home, you have no energy. When you are out of energy, what's the one thing that your body does? It slumps over. So the indication that you have root aphids is when you look at your plant and a little bit of filtering, or you can also see a plant yellowing on a few leaves, or the leaves are curled up in a way and that's indications that you have roof aphids and it's also indications that they have um, continuously over time been sucking the life out of the plant. Now your plant will also, it will stun in growth to as if you look at your plants you will realize that maybe one is not growing as big as the other. Um, it's not yielding as much either. The fruits um, are not as fruitful and they're very small. They're smaller than the rest of the fruits that you will find on your plant. That's also an indication that you have roof aphids. I want you to take a second, pause this video, right? Take a second, walk outside to your garden if you have a garden. And I want you to look at all your plants. Whichever one of your plants that you see looks more stubby, looks more compact or you have a couple of leaves yellowing or some leaves that are curling up then I want you to take that plant out and I want you to check the leaves and see if it has the roof if it's on there very small peach shape little spider like but not really spider like but the very peach shapes you see them move 
moving on your um, directly on your roots um, or inside your soil it got a little tail on it and two antennae is coming off the front that's something that the leaf aphid does not have that's another way how, way how you can um, decipher between the two is the root aphid has antennas um, half the size of leaf aphid and a little tail on the back um, the leaf aphid does not and plus the root aphid has slightly less legs than the leaf aphid whereas the leaf aphid has a little bit more legs it's twice the size and it does not have any antennas on the front so, so you can tell between the two now when it comes to trying to clean these plants or trying to get rid of them honestly in my opinion your best thing you should do is to basically expose of the plant that has been infested by the roof aphids because any pesticides that you can really use on them they will become immune to you can use them but you're only going to kill about 70 to 80 percent now you can't think about it like that's still a good portion of it but you're going to think also that the roof aphids are very very fast growing they reproduce fairly faster than other insects that you can find on your plants um and they basically take over in a snap of a finger it's like back to the future you know what i'm saying next thing you know you're her and then you're over there you know what i'm saying all over the place at one time snap a finger you're there that's the other side but um yeah they infest very quickly so what you want to do is you want to dispose of now how i dispose of my plants that i see have roof aphids is i take a plastic bag and because you don't want to carry them through your garden or carry them around because you run the risk of them falling off and making the making their way through your garden so what you should do is grab a plastic bag put the plastic bag next to the plant lift the plant pull the plant all the roots as much roots as you possibly can out of the soil and you want to take that and rest it into the bag also you want to use gloves because you also don't want to use your hands if you use your hands you run the risk of them being on your hands and when you touch other plants you're basically you know moving them around it's basically like a uber for roof aphids <laughs> it's kind of funny that's a funny a uber for a roof aphids like hey ralph your uber's here the little humans here for you oh thank you dear bob i'm coming now all right cool boom <laughs> uh, jokes just jokes but um yeah so what you could do is you could put on gloves now what i do is when i take these plants out and i put them into the bag i take my gloves take them from the inside i take them right off and i put my gloves into the bag bring up the bag tie it and then transport it away from your garden you don't want to put it into your compost because you also then run the risk of it to mix in your compost and then them spreading throughout the soil when you reuse your compost so keep it away from your compost keep it away from all your plants you possibly can and dispose of you can either burn it or throw away however you want to throw it away as long as it's away from your plants now the area that is left you can use basically you can use neem oil on the plants that you do have the plants that are not infested by the um the root aphids you can use either a neem oil because what a neem oil does is the oil itself it gets onto the insect and it clogs the pores basically it chokes them to death so that's something that also could, could work or you can use a part um ooh, sorry pyatherium which is comes in a, a powder form and it comes in a spray form i'm gonna say that word again i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right but it's p-y-r-e-t-h-r-u-m you can pick that at any garden store that you can um that you have in your district or in your city you can go to any garden store they should have it in a spray form or a powder form if not they have neem oil you can use neem oil on your plants so what i was to use on my plants is i use 
garlic. I take the garlic, take the outer layer off, I crush the garlic, and I boil it into some water. Um, let the water cool off, put it into a sprayer, and put two drops of soup. Now, you're looking at me like two drops of soup. This guy is really using it. I saw my user here back in the day. Yes, two drops of soup still actually work. And it is a little trick that a lot of people don't believe actually work, but it's something that actually does work. Put two drops into your sprayer, and I normally spray my plants down. Now, when I spray my plants down, um, I make sure that I got a sprayer that you can, you know, put upside down that has the top piece to suck from the top and also the straw to get from the bottom. Because you want to make sure that you get underneath your leaves along with on top of your leaves because you don't want to leave nothing out. Because normally when an aphid or any other insects, they when they reproduce, they reproduce and they lay their eggs underneath the seeds. They don't lay their eggs underneath the leaves. They don't lay their eggs on top of the leaves. So everything is underneath the leaves. See a leaf that's curled over? A little bit curled like this on it? Just turn it over and see if you may actually find insects and maybe eggs, little patches of eggs there here and there. Um, once the summer season is over and it goes into the winter season and after all the reproducing they normally die off, not really completely die off, but you wouldn't really see them as much. They'd be still there, actually. They can still infest your plants, as much plants as they have, but they don't grow as rapidly into in the winter as they do in the summer. Sometime they're reproducing like crazy. And, you know, it's like a little party going on down there. I don't know what's happening, but it's a party going on down there. They're reproducing, they're going all over the place. Winter times they slow down, but they're still there, they're still alive, they don't completely die off. Now, when they reproduce, and also when they suck the life out of your plant, like everything it could possibly suck out of your plant, they normally transport to other plants that are around in your garden. They'll go to the next plant that they can host and they can drain the life out of it. They normally do this by ants. So if you have a trail of ants that are in your garden, make sure you take care of that. Because there's ants basically like a second hand Uber from. That whole trail is a highway full of aphids that's traveling from one plant to the next plant to the next plant. Like, hey Phil, I've got a hand right here. Bring your family. Cool. Next thing you know, there's a whole group of them. There's a whole family reunion going on in your city. You don't want to have that. So make sure you take care of your ants. Have a little ant problem. You can get little granules, ant granules. You can put around, and put around your garden. I would suggest like a perimeter around your garden. Um, other ways they can transport around is they can use birds. Birds land in your garden. They go on the feet of birds and birds will hop around your garden and they will hop around your garden too so you can also go to your garden market you can grab yourself a little net a little net that can go on the top of your um, all your plants so all of your plants are too big for that that's cool that's cool no problem you probably have other things that you can use to get little birds I know a lot of people are creative y'all are good at that I'm not too much creative like that <laughs> um, other things now. Ooh, I think I covered it. Oh, one other thing you may be surprised, right? But if you also want to use a more organic way to get rid of them and Basically, without putting anything on your plants, is you can gather ladybugs. Now, what ladybugs do is they eat the eggs and they eat the insect itself. The ones that are on top, the ones that are underneath the soil, they can't really get to too much. But the crawlers, the ones that come up on um, up on top of the soil, and the ones that are on the stem, the ladybugs are actually good for eating those and other aphids that are on your plants. So, if you can get ladybugs, I know some companies online they actually ship ladybugs live ladybugs they actually ship them to you you can order some you can bring them in you put them into your garden they are very useful in your garden because they eat a lot of insects a lot of small insects 
that will take over your garden. Now, I think that pretty much sums up today's episode on root aphids. So, if you like it, please leave a like. Um, if you have any questions, please comment. Um, if you would like me to talk about anything, I could talk about it in the end of my next video. So, just leave a comment and I'll chat about it in my next video. Please share the video, please subscribe so you can get notifications when a new video comes up. Um, thank you for watching. Y'all have a blessed day.